I want to talk for a second about the media's contrasting coverage. You, you wonder whether the media are biased? Just take a look at the Virginia gun rights rally that is happening today. Now, there's a lot of talk about the Virginia gun rights rally being infiltrated by kooks and white supremacists. Okay, this is a real concern. Whenever you have a very, very big rally, you have to worry that there are going to be some fringe people who try to glom onto the size of the rally, and then the media will cover those people and pretend that the rest of the rally doesn't exist. Okay, this is not like the Unite the Right rally, which is openly, openly marketed in Charlottesville as a white supremacist rally. This is not that. Okay, this thing is marketed as a pro-gun rally, and by all available evidence, it is a pro-gun rally. Thousands, tens of thousands of people apparently showing up at the Virginia Capitol to protest the removal of gun rights in the state of Virginia and doing so peacefully. They're there like chanting the Pledge of Allegiance and members of the media are just lying about them, openly lying, suggesting it's a white supremacist rally. It is not a white supremacist rally. And just because you can find a couple of white supremacists who try to infiltrate the rally because they know they'll get media coverage that way, that does not make the entire rally white supremacist any more than a couple of Antifa members infiltrating the Women's March makes it a terrorist rally. That's not the way this works. Rallies should, do, should try to do a good job of policing who shows up at the rallies, but you can't slander the entire rally because five guys in Nazi hats show up. In this case, there's not even been any evidence of that thus far. And yet the media are portraying this as a terror rally. Seriously. Like Gabe Gutierrez over at NBC News tweeted out a video of people literally chanting the Pledge of Allegiance. And he, and he tweeted, chants of we will not comply from gun rights protesters in Richmond. They're literally chanting the Pledge of Allegiance. And you can hear it. And he just lies about it. And that's not the only lie being told. He had a couple of other reporters suggesting that it was a terrorist rally, saying that carrying guns openly in Virginia, which is legal, that this is somehow a violation of the Second Amendment is not what the founders intended when it was literally what the founders intended. The coverage of the Virginia gun rights rally is astonishingly bad. Awful. So far, I know the media would love, they would love nothing better. Many of the media would love nothing better than a Charlottesville-like scenario or a bunch of white supremacists show up and start killing people, that would be their favorite thing ever because then it could claim that all gun rights advocates in the United States are actually vicious, violent, racist brutes. That would be their favorite thing in the world. It hasn't happened. Hey, Benny Johnson over at TPUSA, who's there covering this thing, he says, no riots, no violence, no targeting of citizens, no attacking cops, just thousands upon thousands of peaceful law-abiding citizens gathering in Virginia's capital to protest an unconstitutional assault on their rights. And that, of course, is exactly, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. It's, it's amazing. I mean, they're really spending they're really spending their day trying to suggest that this thing is terrorism. It's, it's, but they did the same thing with the Tea Party. The Tea Party was apparently terrorist and racist, despite no evidence that it was terrorist or racist. Meanwhile, the Women's March, which was run for years by open anti-Semites, here's how that was covered over the weekend. So nobody showed up. Isabella Gomez Sarmiento reported from NPR, quote, Women's March draws a smaller but passionate crowd. The fourth annual Women's March descended on the streets of Washington on Saturday, unlike the first demonstration that brought hundreds of thousands to the Capitol the day after President Trump's inauguration. The march drew just a fraction of the original turnout as the movement has struggled with changes in leadership and questions about inclusivity. But they were passionate. They were so passionate. And that's what really mattered. The permit only allowed up to about 10,000 people, by the way. The permit filed with the National Park Service. But it was passionate, guys. So the media say that the Women's March, passionate, Passionate, but small. The gun rights rally march, large and terrorist and white supremacist. No evidence of terrorism or white supremacism. Well done, media. This is what you guys do. Facts don't care about your feelings. And it's a fact that the Ben Shapiro Show is the largest conservative podcast in the nation. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our content.